Hey there, in this short video we are going to understand about JavaScript promises. So before understanding about how JavaScript promises work, we need to understand something called callbacks. So let me create a function called callback function and I'll just write a print statement over here saying that I am inside the callback. And now let me create another function which gets the, takes the callback function as a function argument. So I'll call another fn equal to function which takes a callback function as an argument and it also takes a value as an argument. So in this function we say if value equals to I'm calling the callback function. Okay, and I am calling the another function now with callback function which is clfn and value is let's say 3. So let me run this and see what happened. Nothing prints because we are printing nothing. Let me add a print argument over here. Say so I am inside another fn and this should get printed over here and hit touch and if I call this function with a value 2 it should actually call my callback function so I'm calling it with value 2 and it is actually calling my callback function okay so as you can see that it's calling my callback function however it is very well possible that in the rest of the code I somehow execute this again so what will happen I go again clean the skin and I'm calling this I can see that the callback is called twice so wherever this callback function is executed it will execute multiple number of times uh, in the calling function so that that itself is a problem with the callback apart, apart from other problem which people say about using promises like pyramid of tomb and callback hell and so on and so on. This is much bigger problem because it can potentially change the state. So what should we do? Promises is one solution. So let's clean this up and come up with something called promises. Okay. So we'll uh, create a promise function just like we did it it also takes a value and here I am returning new promise which takes a callback which has two arguments called resolve and reject here I will do something like if value equals to I'll call resolve with an argument saying that something which can identify done or else I'll say reject try again something like this so basically the, if when I call this function if I call it, it with true I should get uh, resolve and reject so basically promises are nothing but a way of calling a callback at later point of time and it can be one of two things whether the promise is fulfilled or a promise is not fulfilled so let me call this function prom function with two I'm just calling this function just like any other JavaScript function what happens nothing now let me call it with three let's see what happens it's giving some kind of uh, warning. It's not an error, it's a warning. It says something is deprecated and we will look into this. But this is not the way we call promise. So we call promise into take the output because this prom function is returning a promise. So we'll take the promise into a variable. I call it prom rate equal to prom function with two. Now if it is returning promise it will be returning either resolve or reject 
So how will I know what it returns? It returns resolve or reject. To know about this, we will have to call something called from rate on then. And I am using a ES6 uh, uh, syntax, uh, arrow syntax over here. I'll say console.log. Uh, I'll say resolved and uh, the param. Okay, and let me run this code. So, as of now, I am passing the two. The promise should be resolved. It is called this. It say resolved and then the param. But again, if I call it with some other value, nothing will happen. It will again give this that this should be executed. This is the warning. So to so handle this situation, we'll have to add, uh, get something called catch. I can also say the prom rate dot catch. Again, I'll replicate the same thing over here. And I'll say rejected. Okay, now let me run the code again. See here. If you ignore this warning, it's saying rejected. So whenever its promise is resolved, then we'll call, get called. And whenever the promise is rejected, catch will get called. But you see, this, this is a problem because unhandled promise rejection, because even if you call a catch separately, it says uh, the JavaScript compiler complains me that I'm not catching the error that is coming out or rejection that is coming out of the promise. So one way to do it is that take the then output uh, success output uh, into some variable and call the success output for the catch. Now if I run this code you can see that this warning went away and handle promise rejection because I have handled it as part of a chain. So this function returns promise which is here. I call then on this, it returns a success output and I am calling catch on this. It will have no effect on the success case as you can see there. But this is a bit ugly way of writing. That's why there is a promise syntax uh, which is called chain syntax. So let's do it. Remove this. Okay. Here also, let's remove this. I'll just say dot name. And here also let's uh, remove this dot catch okay and then also it will work so for success case so I don't have to put semicolon over here okay here I can put anyway for success case it says resolved and uh, for unsuccessful case it says rejected now you can see that that unhandled promise rejection warning is no longer here. So that's the region the syntax comes from promise.den.catch. Now there is one more thing about promise is that uh, right now I have only one function which is uh, returning promise. So there in, in the real code there will be multiple functions that, that will be returning promise. So let me create some second function, prom2 function, some returning promise2, try again2 for example. I, I can create similar prom function2 for the2, prom function2. But if at all I want to catch the promise in every, at a single place, I can say promise dot all. It, uh, it takes an array array contains takes prom function with two all the functions which uh, i need to, uh, which returns the promise and this this then become part of this so here you can see that as of now it's a success case so in this case promise.all will wait for all the promise to be resolved okay so it's resolved with done and done to you can see how the done and done to come because this parameter contains every resolve argument as an array. So we can say that 
रिजॉल्व वन एज पैरम जीरो रिजॉल्व टू एज पैरम वन सो यू कैन सी द आउटपुट एट वन एज पैरम वन टू एज पैरम टू सो दिस इज एन अरे same thing for fn2 but what will happen if it is rejected if any one of the promise is rejected it will consider things as rejected and only the catch phrase will get called for example let's say i am making sure the first function rejects you can see that rejected gets called but even if first function is correct and i am calling second function you can see that rejected is called so if any one of the promise fail everything is considered fail if otherwise it will wait for everything to be successful if everything is successful it will come in the then phrase so that's the way promises are written i hope you are able to understand how to make use of it let me know if you have any queries or comments or questions uh, in the comment section thanks a lot thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe